Hello, and welcome to HGXIV's Break It Down series, where we look at housing designs created by the Final Fantasy XIV community. We're going to be looking at windows with six different designs today, and you'll notice similar item usage between all of them, such as the white screen to make a fake sky and hidden windows. Our first window design is by Astra Luna Soul. These wooden blinds are full length and facing forward. A white screen is dyed blue and is being used to mimic the sky. Windows are hidden behind the white screen and create a dynamic light effect when paired together with wooden blinds. The framing of the window has wooden slats for dividers and a Hingen bookshelf at the bottom. Astra has used the top of the wooden blinds to make a cohesive wooden frame and we're a big fan of the item economy. There's a slight depth to the window where some green ivy can hang and there's some assorted candles being used as hidden lights. You'll want to spend item slots on adding hidden light into your window as it will add more visual interest. Next up is Chloe Azenia and their rainy day window. Here, Chloe is using the cracked arch window for a more classic look. Assorted candles have been hidden and used for the lighting they give off. You'll notice the orange hue of the candles change the bluish grey colour of the sky. This is a trick you'll often see people use in their designs. Lastly, the waterfall partition is being used to make the rain. We want to point out that the windows Chloe's made have recessed. This has been done as both a technical and visual trick. The rain can be seen more easily without spilling out into the house. And instead of white screens, Chloe is using stage panels and setting the cracked arch windows onto it normally. Next up is Morgan Corwell's Amarot styled windows. There's a lot to look at with these windows and they can definitely seem daunting at first. Let's start with the frame. Morgan used Hingen cupboards for the bottom of the frame and wood slat dividers. This is a design choice you should consider if you want consistency as they both have a very similar wooden texture and dye to nearly identical colours. Next, the curving metal framework is a Crystarium wardrobe just barely peeking out. The Scholasticate table provides these metal horizontal lines that give more weight to the window. Finally, a white screen with hidden windows. Here, Morgan has used the same items but to make smaller windows. You may have already noticed, but there's a small difference with these windows. There's a reflective quality to them that is created by using an aquarium. In this case, the glass effect is achieved by using tier 4 aquarium, and they've put the setting for the display water to fresh water. The aquarium water is green, which will then change the colour of the screen or wall that you use behind it. In this example, Morgan dyed their white screen shadow blue. You can see the way the glass shines and how it alters the colour of the screen. Additionally, aquarium and showcase glass create this very bright refraction that will almost make your windows look white. It's a visual trick that many people ask about, and now you know how it's done. Our next designer is Fairy Peach and their sunset open window. The window effect has a lot of layering and depth to it, but we're here to help. The frame is made of white rectangular partitions with dance poles to create the illusion of glass. A Hingen wardrobe has a lot of texture when turned around so only the back shows and when dyed blue, it can look like the ocean. All along the horizon are hidden assorted candles creating a warm light, but the biggest standout is the setting sun, which is created by even more candles and a dead man's chest. The sparkle effects really help to sell the illusion of light reflecting off the water. The rocky coast is created using indoor oriental waterfalls, verdant partitions and bamboo planters. It's a lot of work, but the window is a visual feast. We've been looking at a lot of bright windows with sunshine, but what about nighttime? Chaka has created a massive open window with a view of the night sky over the treetops. The night sky itself is a stage panel was dyed black. The framing of the windows is made with gal partitions and the trees are staggered high and low to make a dynamic looking forest. The twinkling stars are made from stuffed carbuncles, while the lighting at the bottom are iron torches turned around so most of the flame is hidden behind the stage panel. The fiery red torches are scattered all throughout the trees to enhance the colour. Hidden at the top are Hingen Chochin lanterns which add additional lighting and depth despite not being seen easily. At the bottom of the window, Chaka used the tops of the indoor oriental waterfall for grass. The open window is the focus of the build and it creates a beautiful and serene scene. Our last design is Nora Rappi's open skyline window. When we talked about lighting and how it can change the dynamics of a simple window, we feel this design really highlights the full potential. First off, we have dance poles as our glass divider. 
A gull partition is being used as a frame at the top with ivy hanging down. The open sky is a stage panel and the building shown in the back are steel lockers dyed different shades of grey and blue to mimic buildings covered in glass. To achieve this visual change in colour, many different lights are hidden and used to focus lighting in different areas. That bright dominating light you're seeing is an awful lot of Queen's Rest. By itself, Queen's Rest gives a nice spotlight effect and Nora is using over 50 of these in a concentrated spot. And no, I really didn't stutter. The Queen's Rest gives a realistic illusion of a bright sunny day, while the rest of the room is more neutral and dark so as not to take away from the window. There's a few ornamental crystal arrays hidden in the middle portion of the window, giving off a more faint blue hue, along with some assorted candles for a warm light. Last but not least, there's two hidden indirect spotlights shining from above. They cast shadows on the hanging ivy that then show on the floor of the apartment. Nora Rappi has created an outstanding and realistic window effect and we felt it was well warranted to go on the list to teach you the potential of how lighting can change a scene. We're not saying spend all your time in Boja, but maybe invest in a few Queen's Rest if you want some dynamic windows. We hope that this guide has given you some ideas on building your own windows. If you'd like to see more Break It Down guides, we have one on kitchens, but let us know in the comments what rooms or ideas you'd like us to explore next. Thank you very much for watching, and happy housing.